What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the Apple Watch Ultra six months later, I'm giving you guys my overall thoughts, how I feel about it, whether or not I'm going to keep it, whether or not I'm going to switch over to another device, whether or not I think it's worth it so far, and whether or not I would buy it again. So without further ado, Apple Watch Ultra six months later, let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, guys, so this is my Apple Watch Ultra. I just went with this green band metal little clip here. I got this to replace my Whoop 4.0. I had been wearing a Whoop for about three years. I was kind of over it. It was very repetitive. I memorized my stats. They didn't really change much day to day. And I wanted something more lifestyle-y, something that would kind of fit my lifestyle more. And honestly, that would tell the stinking time. The Whoop didn't tell you the time, but it was super accurate on the fitness things. Anyways, my priorities have kind of shifted and changed. Fitness is still a major priority, but I wanted more just lifestyle stuff, you know, maybe get a text message, maybe not get as distracted. Long story short, switched over from the Whoop 4.0 to the Apple Watch Ultra. I've been rocking it for six months and my initial impressions are it replaced my Whoop. I'd been rocking my Whoop for about three and a half years, got tired of paying the monthly fee, could have probably bought two of these by the time that I had been with the Whoop. I just needed a change. Also, I didn't want to jump into an Apple Watch. I was looking at Garmin's. I was looking at like the high tech Fitbits. The Apple Watch was the absolute last piece of tech wearable that I wanted on my wrist just because I think they kind of look a little, I don't know, they're just not my style. You know, I've, I've never wanted like a big old touch screen on my wrist. I didn't want to like be getting text messages or calls or this and that. I just thought it was going to add a ton of distraction and that's kind of why I liked the Whoop because it was literally no distraction whatsoever. Um, when I saw this come out and I saw how rugged it was, how much much of a change in terms of the design was, how it looked actually pretty sick. I wanted to go with this. I didn't even want to try out the Apple Watch. I think it's eight or something like that. I was going to pick it up to do a review. Didn't even pick it up for the review. I just went straight for this bad boy. I absolutely love the look of this. I love the design of it. That's what really drew me in. And then all the extras in terms of like what you can do with the screen, how you can customize it for your day-to-day -day activities. That's the second part that drew me in. And the third part was just being able to still get my fitness stats, my sleep stats, my health stats, all the other stuff such as being able to text off of it get phone calls off of it maps just different things like that was an added bonus and that's kind of like the little lifestyle piece that I was looking for I think my first weekend I was already just blown away by it I was already on team Apple Watch Ultra not Apple Watch but Apple Watch Ultra ever since I got this thing I've been wearing it every day no regrets so with being able to check the time, being able to check my fitness stats and also being able to check things like the weather because I'm a big weather guy, I like to go outside and run and just see what the weather's doing outside. All of that and not being distracted, huge selling factor for me. So let's go ahead and go over the battery life on this thing. So if you don't have an activity running constantly, you could probably get maybe three days worth of battery out of this. Three days, that's based off of my experience. I run at least one to two activities every single day for at least an hour, hour and a half long, depending on the day. And I feel like that's kind of what sucks your battery. If you're running maps off of this, where it like beeps and pings and all that, that'll also kind of drain battery. If you're not doing any activities, this thing will last you, I don't know, maybe three to five days, I want to say. For me, I've noticed that it lasts me about three days with pretty heavy activity use and that's completely draining the battery. I don't ever completely drain it. I charge it every time I shower. I shower at least once a day minimum, sometimes two. And every time I go shower, I throw it on the charger and normally it charges it back up. With that being said, every time I charge it, I have about 75% battery left. So I charge it all the way up to maybe like 95, 98, wear it throughout the, you know, the rest of the day, the next day doing the activities and the battery seems to perform really, really well. So unless you're not going to completely charge it, you'll maybe get three to five days full battery on this thing. I know the charging is why people go to the Garmin's and that sort of thing. I don't really have that issue. I don't really have that problem. Battery has honestly been super good for my liking. I thought I was going to have to be charging this thing constantly. I know that's a huge complaint with Apple Watch users. So Apple Watch Ultra battery life is probably nine, nine and a half out of 10. For my lifestyle, it's probably a nine and a half out of 10. So battery life is never an issue on this thing. So let's go ahead and go into the activities. So first and foremost, the big main activity that I got my whoop initially was sleep tracking. I wanted to dial in my sleep, my rest, my recovery. That's also a big thing that I use on my Apple Watch. It does track my sleep. I sleep with it on. The sleep on this, setting alarms, setting up schedules is awesome. This thing dims and stops notifications at 9.45 every night. My bedtime is 10.30 p.m. And then in the morning, it wakes me up around 6, 6.20 a.m. And it wakes up with like a gradual vibration and gradual song 
that doesn't just like blast your ear and you're super pissed off when you wake up. This thing slowly wakes you up. It's a nice gradual feeling. It tracks your sleep. Later in the day, I look at my sleep, how much sleep I got, my recovery. So sleep, awesome at tracking the sleep. This thing has been absolutely awesome for that. Workouts such as running, CrossFit, functional fitness style workouts, mountain biking, cycling, anything that's active, walking, this thing tracks it. It automatically picks it up as well. So if you forget to start it on here, it'll automatically pick it up for you. So that's a huge plus. I live a very active lifestyle. That was another second huge reason that I wanted to get this. I wanted to be able to track my, you know, fitness and activities focus modes. So with the worry of, you know, this thing being a distraction and this kind of taking me away from, you know, my work and things that need to get done, this thing has actually eliminated distractions, which I was shocked about. You can put focus modes on this bad boy, which is, let's say you have a work focus mode, you have a, I don't know, like a meditation focus mode. If you have a workout focus mode, you can allow certain notifications to come through in that certain focus mode, which completely eliminates the distractions. Also, aside from focus modes, you literally have everything you need at the palm of your wrist basically on this thing. I look at the time, I look at the weather, I look at my exertion from activities, my recovery and sleep, and it's all on one screen, which allows me not to go into my phone. It's all literally right there. If I get a text message and I want to look at it, I just pop open my wrist. If it's from my fiance, if it's from a family member, I can look at it. If it's urgent, I text them back. If it's not, then I just leave it. So I don't go into my phone and then I end up on Instagram or whatever and just doing nonsense. This thing eliminates all the distractions. So just like I mentioned, I'm very active and I do a lot of activities throughout the day. The app that I decided to go for was obviously Apple Fitness, which I use to track my activities, but also Athletic. So Athletic is like the Apple Watch version of Whoop. It gives you all those same types of stats, such as recovery, sleep, fitness, exertion, calories burned, that sort of thing. It's $30 a year, 100% worth it. It gives you these little rings that you can check out. The first one is recovery, middle is exertion level, and the last one is just the temperature outside. But once you click into those, you can go into the actual app. I absolutely have loved that app, 100% worth it. That's what I use to track all my activities, such as afternoon bike rides, walks, my workouts, my runs, just to kind of keep you accountable, keep you on track, and also just look at your stats, see how hard your day was. Maybe you need to go to sleep a little earlier. Maybe you need to take it easy the next day. Maybe you need to do some stretching, recovery, cold baths, whatever it is. So if you nerd out on fitness stuff, that's the app to go for if you have an Apple Watch Ultra or an Apple Watch. Different apps that I used that I've been using for the last six months. One is the Timers app. I absolutely love that, whether I need like a midday nap, quick little 50 15 to 20 minute breather, kind of reset and recharge. Whether you know you need to set a timer because you got a pizza on the oven, maybe you're doing laundry. I don't know. Just the timer app, I use it a lot. Absolutely love it. Maps is another big one. I don't really like use maps on here, but if you start a map on your phone and you're driving, it actually will like buzz and it, it's kind of weird, but like it buzzes on a certain side of the watch. Maybe that's just in my head. I don't know. I've kind of noticed it. Buzzes whenever you need to take a turn, whenever you have like an upcoming, you know, left turn, right turn, or whether or not you just keep going straight. So it buzzes and notifies you that way. You're you're like not distracted and you miss a turn or something like that. So the walking directions on the Apple Watch Ultra and also driving directions on the Apple Watch Ultra are awesome. Again, start it on your phone and then it goes automatically over to your watch. Huge pro. And then I use that pretty often. My car app, I can turn my car on from it. That's another big one. Spotify, whenever I'm listening to Spotify on my phone, it automatically starts on the Apple Watch. I can change the song volume, like a song from my Apple Watch. Super convenient. Again, like if you're working out, you don't have to go into your phone and you get super distracted. Messages, again, text messages come through. I look at it. If it's important, I can reply right away. If it's not, then I don't reply. I don't go into my phone. I'm not distracted. For replying, you can either talk to text or you can do a voice message or you can just type it out. The screen is fairly big. It's not too crazy to type on it. To be honest, typing experience is all right. For the most part, I kind of just do like the speech to text feature. Super awesome. Zoom notifications for work, whether I'm working, I get like a chat from my work or someone like that. I can pull it up, go into my phone or computer or just from here as well and reply. Strava is what I use to track my running, my biking, that sort of thing. Thing. Also on here, you can start up a workout track and activity through that as well. So that's another huge pro. So those are basically the apps that I've been using every single day for the last about six months or so. So on a typical day, I'm wearing my Apple Watch about 90% of the time, really. The other 10% is when I'm going out to dinner, whether I'm going out to an event, church, that sort of thing. I take it off and I wear a real watch. Other than that, Apple Watch is staying on me. So let's go ahead and talk about the screens. Screens are what kind of sold me on this as well. Why I love the screens, it completely changes the whole vibe and look 
look of your watch. So the first screen is my bedtime screen. So this screen's dark as you guys can see. Bottom left is the sleep icon basically to set up my schedule for sleeping. Bottom right is my exertion level from the day. Just a quick glance, see how tough my day was for working out. Top right is the temperature outside. Top left is the elevation. And then in the middle, you got my battery life. And then the time off to the left there, compass in the middle. Again, super dark and you know, just so it doesn't jack up my eyes at night when I'm going to sleep. That's my sleep screen, I absolutely love it. So the next screen is my outdoor screen. This screen is pretty much on me whenever I'm like doing things like hiking or I'm out, you know, riding my dirt bike or if I'm doing like an outdoorsy day, I don't really care about my exertion level too much throughout the day. I just kind of want to look at, you know, the elevation, want to look at an easy to look at screen. It's dark and the orange is kind of bright. This is my go-to screen. On this screen, I got the weather just to tell me the temperature, see what it's gonna be like that day, sunset, time, battery level there in case I need to charge up, a compass, the date and time. Super simple, cool looking screen. That's what I use for my outdoor screen. The next screen is my fitness screen. This one is what I'm using, honestly, 75% of the time, 80% of the time, this is what is on my wrist. So top, you got the date, you got the time below that. Top left is my calories burned for the day. Below that, we have the weather widget, which is just like an hourly uh, read of the temperature, whether it's gonna snow, rain, be sunny, the temperatures at that certain time. Bottom left, we have my recovery level. Middle, we have the exertion level. And then bottom right, we have the temperature outside. Again, just all these things that I constantly look at on my phone at a quick glance on my wrist so I don't have to go into my phone and get distracted. The last and final screen is just like an everyday screen. Super simple. It looks sleek. It looks cool. Again, the outdoor screen, super vibey. It has that vibe. It gets me in the outdoor mood. This one's just like an everyday screen. If I don't really care about anything, it just has simple date and time, weather, my activity rings on there just to kind of keep track. And then the battery percentage and temperature outside. So that's what the screens are for. It can change the whole mood of your watch. It can change your whole vibe. Super awesome feature. I absolutely love it. It can change the whole watch itself in general. So if you think it's not for you, just switch up the screen and it will give you a brand new watch. Let's go over the build quality. So this thing is rugged, it's sharp. The colors on it are super awesome. The just the titanium, the gray, the like gunmetal kind of looking finish. You have the orange, the green band that I got, super cool. Different bands for different activities, different types of styles. So you can even get, have like a nicer looking band if you wanted to. It's waterproof, it has a waterproof excreter basically, which is like a little sound that comes out of it whenever you're like diving or going into the pool with it. I have swam with this thing, it does just fine. Put it in the waterproof mode. Mode. when you're done you hold the button and it shoots out the water so far this thing has held up great i've taken a few falls on my dirt bike with this thing on i've hit it on stuff in my home gym during workouts there's really no scratches like i said it's super rugged it's built pretty tough and like look at this thing the design of this thing is freaking hard it doesn't even look like a freaking apple watch this thing's sick it almost it's like a high-tech garmin anyways build quality it gets a nine nine and a half out of ten so final thoughts, guys. First and foremost, this thing is a distraction killer. Don't worry about distractions with this thing. The sleep tracking on this is awesome. Get your sleep in check, get your recovery in check. Fitness tracker, it's an A in my book. It's not the most accurate for fitness, but it does the job and it'll get you through exactly what I need for my day-to-day -day lifestyle. As my go-to info that I need, personalize it to however you want. It'll be that same exact thing for you. Honestly, six months in, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I don't think I would ever go back to a Whoop unless a Whoop became kind of like the Apple Watch. And even if it did then, I'm pretty much in the Apple Apple ecosystem. I got a Mac back there, an iPad there, an iPhone here. I'm just so tied into the Apple ecosystem that I don't think I would wear anything else other than an Apple Watch Ultra. Definitely not any of the other Apple Watches. That's just my personal preference. Unless this thing gets a major upgrade in like two to four years, then I would upgrade to the other Apple Watch Ultra. But again, six months in guys, I'm absolutely loving this thing. Would I buy this again? hundred times. Yes. I wish I would have bought this sooner or as soon as it came out, or I wish this would have came out a long time ago because this, this is a fairly new watch. Highly recommend it six months in. Stay tuned for a year review, see how I've been utilizing it, whether or not my opinions change. But six months in, highly recommend this watch. Super impressed by it. Fitness, sleep, lifestyle in general. It looks super cool. It's built super cool. You can wear this for outdoors, swimming, whatever it is. Six months in, highly recommend it, guys. That's my impressions, and that's gonna go ahead and do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, guys. Catch you guys in the next one.